Your space is a reflection of your mind. And I wonder why do I live so disorderly? Part of it is because I rent. The other part is I didn't treat myself well. I didn't think that I deserve nice things. Instead of waiting for a place of my own, I will leave how I envision it to be right now. To allow myself to pick the things that I truly like and to have courage to change. And the easiest place to start is where I sleep. I bought a new minty green bedding. It's soft and the colors soothe me. It calms my anxious life. Moving on to this wall, it's too empty. I took the opportunity to clear things that I don't use anymore. If they have been sitting around for a year, it's time to let go. Keeping your items organized makes work easier. Trying my best to organize my mess. Not to self, not to wear black when dealing with furry fabrics. I want to add a painting to my shelf. I painted this to remind me to always follow my heart and listen to my inner voice. It is always right. It looks really lovely here, especially in the morning when the sun glimmers, you could almost hear the choir singing. The shadows are such a delight. Displaying things that I like to enjoy their presence. This is from my sister. They dance when I push the bottom. I have books from the library and this will be where the sewer button sits. And I organize my tools at the bottom. I have my own books to remind me to read. Last but not least, flowers. People give flowers since they are the prettiest. Buying flowers for myself is a form of self-care. Looking at it makes me feel happy. I want to live as though I'm raising myself, making sure I'm well fed. I want to make nice meals for myself, gifting myself a good time enjoying coffee while looking out the window and showing nice things to myself. Since we are here, why not cherish ourselves more? Hope to see you again on the next video. Subscribe and bye!